Hey guys, this is Versatile from Game Dexterity. In today's video tutorial, I want to show you how simple it is to play this game called Daggerfall. It's a free DOS game. You can go to elderscrolls.com slash Daggerfall and download the full version of the game, which is a zip file. It's about 148 megabytes when you download it and about 450 odd megabytes when you extract it and install the game. However, I had some people asking me, hey Versatile, I'm having a hard time trying to make this work in Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows XP, whatever you got going on. So I want to show you how simple it is to do this. Uh, I'm going to take out some shortcuts in this video, so I'm going to assume that you already went to the DOSBox website and downloaded and installed it, and you have already downloaded and installed this game. I take that back. You already downloaded this game, and now you are ready to install it. So how do we do this, right? Well, first things first is let's set up the DOSBox real quickly here. So I'm going to go and say Edit, Configuration, or if for those who are not using a launching program, go to Start, go to DOSBox, and go to Edit Options, and then Edit Configuration. So anyways, when you do that, you have this type of window, like so. And if you go down to Mem Size, the default is 16. Change this to 32, and then go to File, and then go to Save. Now, next thing we want to do is create, just to make things easy, um, let's create a folder in your C drive called DOS Games. So I already did this ahead of time. Let me just show you real quick what I did so far once my program loads. So here's my uh, my computer, so I go into C drive, I made a folder called DOS games, and then what I did was, here's my um, zip file, df install.zip, I have it stored on my thumb drive here. So what I did was I literally took it, the two files inside the zip file, and copy and dragged it over to my DOS games folder, which is on my C partition. It took about you know a few minutes to copy the folders over, and here you have two folders here, okay? So we're, we're in good shape. So now let's get to the nitty gritty, and let's get into DOS box. Now I assure you guys, when you watch this video, it may seem daunting at first but over time it does get easier and yes you too can become a boss so let's go ahead and run DOSBox 0.74 and I'll show you how to do this step by step and if you ever get lost don't worry I got a link in more info section of a text tutorial that you can use and also get yourself situated so first things first um, we want to basically mount the C drive so we're gonna do this we're gonna say mount C so that's the virtual hard drive now we need to point it to my actual folder so c colon slash uh, dos games space dash free size space 1000 or you can write 10 uh, 1024 if you desire what this is telling us is we're going to mount a the c uh, slash dos games folder which is on my real physical hard drive mount it in this virtual c drive and it's going to be a size of 1000 megabytes basically press enter next thing we want to do is we want to mount a virtual uh, CD-ROM drive. So just let me type out the code and I'll explain it real quickly here. Mount D and then uh, C colon slash DOS games slash uh, Daggerfall CD. So DFCD. Oops, sorry. DFCD. Make sure you spell things correctly. And then space dash T space CD-ROM space label space Daggerfall just like I typed and press enter. So what I just did here is I took this C um, this path, the DOS game slash DFCD, and this is just the syntax for making a CD-ROM, and here we're giving it a label as Daggerfall, and I, and, I, and I am mapping that to what I consider is the virtual D drive, so the virtual CD-ROM drive. So now I press D colon, I type uh, install, like so, and now it proceeds to install the game, or let me run through the installer. So I'm going to say continue, I agree to the terms, so let's use the mouse here, and then let's say install the game to the hard drive. Now change your install size, we're going to select huge installation. Now we say yes, this installation size is fine, and say yes, I want to install the game here, go ahead and install the game. Now, if you guys are confused at what I just did, there's no shame at all to stop the video, rewind, and just rewatch what I did. Like I said in the more info section, I'll have some quick text or I have a link I guess to the text tutorial so you can sort of follow along with that. Now this installation process right here takes I don't know a couple minutes I suppose. So what I'm going to do right now is let me pause the video momentarily and then we'll get back and we'll recontinue the video and show you how you too can become the new boss of Daggerfall. Alright we are back so now let's get ready to set up a sound card so let's say yes. Now let's say auto detect which is fine and let's press enter on detect see what auto detection sequence yes okay and it found it let's test it rest well this night yeah that's what i'm talking about tomorrow, you say all right so let's go to okay now let's go to select midi 
And we're going to go down to Sound Blaster 16, press enter. The port of 388 is perfectly okay. You want to test it? Let's test it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Old school music. And press OK. And then we press OK. Save system configuration. And that is it. Now, how do you start the game? Well, before we start the game, let's run the patch. So let's type DAG213. I had to do this once. And this will upgrade it to the latest version. So let's say yes. Let us do this thing right here. And uh, we'll get started. Uh, do you wish to proceed? Yes, why not? And we're good. So now let's type dagger, and the game will start. And yes, I'm using Windows 7 64 bit, and the game works fine, like so. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to go through the whole game, here, but I just want to show you guys yeah, this does work. So let me kill the game, or let me kill DOSBox real quick. So I'm going to say, so let me just kill it real quick here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is let's launch DOSBox again. And um, yes, you can create a, a bat file or a shortcut to help do this, but for sake of time, I won't go into it. You can watch my other DOSBox tutorial and get started. But basically, this is what you do. You go mount C and then C colon slash DOS games uh, space. Oops, free size 1000. And then you can type mount D C colon slash DOS games. Um, slash dfcd um, dash t space cd rom space dash label and then dagger fall like so and now what you can do is go ahead and go to c drive like so cd dagger type in dagger and that's how you start the game like I said there's there's other ways of how to do this to make it much easier but for sake of time I'm just gonna skip it for now so if you like this type of video please like favorite and subscribe so that hopefully one day we can get to the front page of YouTube otherwise if you've got any nitpicky questions leave a comment here on YouTube page and I'll get back to you as soon as possible once again thank you for watching take care bye